Hello, I'm David D. Cosmo. Welcome to ECTV Live. I'm joined by my co-host, Rusty Fender. Welcome. Hey, good to see you, David. Rusty, hey, we're in one of our traditional Christmas uh, uh, time-related shows it today. It won't be long now. Yeah, <laughs> Pastor Steve Perilla joins us. And uh, Steve is That's with the Making a Difference Ministries. And uh, we'll get into the many things that uh, the organization does. But at this time of year, there's a focus on a series of concerts called Christmas with a Twist. And Steve, it's been around for a couple of years now, right? This is uh, our eighth year. Eighth year. Yep. And this, this started as uh, an idea that you came up with, I believe. Yes, it did. It came up with an idea when Gail surprised me with a trip to go see the Mannheim Steam Rollers, actually here in Scranton. Chip Davis. Chip Davis. And it was just a wonderful opportunity. I had no clue Gail was going to do that for me. And it was kind of interesting. She's wife, by the way. My wife is Gail, yeah. is the co-founder. <laughs> and uh, we, I got sent to Scranton on a pretense that we're dropping something off of her boss. And then we end up going down the street, and she, and she pulls the tickets out, and we end up going there. We're like an hour early, hour and a half early. And uh, Gail said, let's stop at, I think it's Abe's up here, the little place. <laughs> the door's locked, so I'm knocking, because i seen people in there. I think maybe somebody just locked the door. Here, he lets me in, and Gail, and it's the whole... Man, I assume they banned oh. <laughs> eating dinner. And I'm like, well, oh, that was it. Remember I just... how big they were? That outsold White Christmas. They came out of nowhere, out of Nebraska, yeah. of all places. You know, you think yeah. of big bands back even in the, uh, you know, the early 80s as, you know, either East Coast or West Coast based out of Omaha, Nebraska, Chip Davis and Mannheim. And Steamer. now they're so associated with Christmas Absolutely. concerts. Absolutely. Yes. In our area especially, of exactly. course. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're fin that fantastic, especially the way they, they compose the music and they, they do something totally different. Their drummer, you know, they always have these drummers that can, they play four or five different instruments. So it's like you're not just one instrument when you, as a musician. And you can see that during the show. They actually move around. And so you decided you're going to have your own series of concerts. I decided that was my goal was to do Christmas with a Twist. In our first year, we did it with uh, a praise band that I was in, and it was just like five people. And the second year, I decided to go bigger and went with 21 piece orchestra for three years. And then Where does the twist come in? The twist is we take Christmas music and we, we flip it. We don't do it the traditional way. We may do it with uh, lead music, uh, harmonizing music, and a cappella music. We kind of like completely change it. Uh, and we, like, do you hear what I hear? We do that with a rock beat. Okay. Uh, not the slow version. We actually do it with a full drum solo in the middle of it. Well, when and you talk going bigger, no one goes bigger than DeCosmo. <laughs> that is his motto That's in life. Motto. Go big <laughs> or go, go bigger. bigger. So you're on the same <laughs> platform. So here. I'm, I'm going to encourage you to do more of, of well. this. But uh, coincidentally, of course, we have missed the first one uh, this season, but there is a whole list of others coming up. Uh, Steve, you want to go over these very quickly, sure. uh, and then we'll, re we'll review them later as well. Yeah, we have the 24th of November. We'll be at the Bennett Presbyterian Church on uh, 501 Bennett Street in Luzerne, and that is going to help the soup kitchen out. So anybody would like to come, they can bring a canned good with them or two, whatever they want to bring. Yeah, we should point out that this is not an admission type thing. These, nope, these are all free. You, you come to these concerts, you enjoy them, you can bring the family. Um, if you can, they'd like you to contribute in your own way to the various charities that they support. But, you know, if you can't, you're still welcome to come on in. Absolutely. Uh, December 7th, Friday night, we'll be doing our annual Christmas with the Twist for the Toys for Tots program. As you can see, the, uh, this year they expanded out. Uh, we were so blessed last year, over close to 3,000 toys. Wow. We collected wow, that's in. Great. So, so if they can, people coming to the concert yes. should bring a new unwrapped they have to be unwrapped because uh, it's got to be new. And the other thing is we're asking for our ministry is to bring stocking stuffers, not so much a bigger toy. Where uh, A lot of times parents are looking for the stocking stuffers, and the, the Marines don't have that. Right. They don't get a lot of that. So we actually have that brought in. A lot of the people bring in like crayons, pencils, stuff like that sure. for stocking <clears throat> stuffing. And then uh, <coughs> December 8th, we'll be at the Parsons Prim Methodist Church in Wilkes-Barre, which is actually part... It's, we call that Parsons area, but it's Wilkes-Barre area. Uh, it's behind the old uh, Golden Palace, touch of class. Yes, okay. And these start at 6 o'clock, and they go for two hours. And it's m my group called The Followers and the country duet called Broken Road Duel. So we're going to be bouncing back and forth doing music, and then we'll be doing together 
group songs together as well as sing-alongs with the uh, kind of people. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, people kind of always different. like to join in. Yep. At church, church. Last year was pretty interesting. We had four artists doing this, and each artist did a song we rotated through. Uh, we had national artist Eddie Mann came in and brought his original music, and it was fantastic. We had a great show, and uh, people really enjoyed it. Uh, this year, we had some family issues where I didn't get into do as much as I wanted this year. So I was going to actually cancel it oh. and, uh, and put it on a hold for one year. And then all these churches called up and said, you know, would you do this for us this year? I'm like, okay, God, you don't want this stopping. So we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, and, and seriously, uh, Rusty uh, jokes about the bigger, but this is the kind of thing that it could easily be expanded if you have yourself and the volunteers to, right. to put the time in, obviously. Um, when you can come to something and, and you bring a toy for Toys or Tots, you're, you know, you're helping the Marine Corps make a lot of kids happy. At the same right. time, you're enjoying a show that might otherwise, if you were going to some kind of event like this in, in other places, might cost you 10 or $15 just to get in to get a ticket to Absolutely, one of these Absolutely, at least. And what's nice about uh, the Toy for Tots program, every toy that comes into this area stays in this area. You know, a lot of times people don't, under, don't know that. They think that all the toys go out different areas sure all the ones that we collect will stay in our local area to help them do you need Mannheim steamroller covers do I need <laughs> any not yet actually not yet. I have the book though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I started this one of my connections was I did um, email Chip Davis and ask him about if I can do this because it was kind exactly. of like under his blanket Yikes. and he had no problem with it and he uh, we got a book and we were going to do that, so that's great. You know, eventually we will throw some of his music. Absolutely, in. no, that, that that people certainly look look forward to that. Now, and we'll we'll get back to these concerts. We'll relist where they are, and when they are, and remind you uh, if you can bring something. Uh, in the case of Toys for Tots, in the case for the soup kitchens, you're going to want to bring uh, some canned goods, uh, non-perishables, to help out there. But let's get back to the organization that uh, that prompted all this in the first place, which is Making a Difference Ministries. Correct. Uh, a bit on the history of that, if you will. Well, we started actually 2009. It actually, this next year will be 10 years for us. And we've started uh, funly, funding it ourselves, me and my wife, Gail, and we just basically kept going forward and forward with it. And even when Gail got sick, we, Gail said to me, don't stop. We have, you know, we're asked to do this and we're going to keep going forward. Now, the, this that you're referring to is in essence the small one two person concerts right right and those are presented all over the place there we actually are right now from delaware to new york we have coffee oh. houses we've expanded we also have affiliates in louisiana georgia texas and now we're opening florida so wow. we have pastors that are calling us because they're liking what's going on and the fact that there's musicians that want to do this and want a safe place to do it and that's you know and they want to give to the community and they don't charge so it's, yeah. it's great to see that. Louisiana actually started out with four uh, places, and now they're up to 12. And what you're doing then is you have, again, these are volunteers. Everything's right? volunteers. Uh, like yourself. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. You go into a church, uh, usually an evening, uh, not, not necessarily doing a church service. Right. Uh, but uh, the churches will host what they call coffee houses. So people will come in, again, no charge, uh, you know, enjoy some, some coffee and some refreshments. And... Hear a group or hear an individual like Steve who came in. Uh, one of our old uh, media colleagues, uh, Mike Lewis. Mike Lewis, very involved with this. Yep, I just uh, t I was on the phone yesterday with him. Uh, he did release his new CD. It came out on Still August. Still in Nashville? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, August 30 came out. Uh, he opened his first CD release, was up here at the uh, Harvey's Lake uh, Music Fest. Oh, um, uh, of course, he was a, an anchor for Channel 16. Uh, but quite a musician, and wound up, uh, I guess he's had a couple uh, releases now. He's got six. Six, six. wow. Six. Wow, <laughs> how about that? Six. He's working on a DVD, a video, actually, too. He's working on that. That's his end of works right now, as we speak. That was his life. It was like I, the anchor business was kind of like the hobby. It was, yeah. was yeah. flip-flopped on that deal, you know? It's pretty much. Yeah. His father was a news person as well, and I think that's why he got into it. But then when he was asked to do the CD for uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, 
that's launched them forward. He was good on the area. Yeah. Enjoyed him. But he's come back to the area for some of your presentations. Many times. Anytime we need him, he'll come up for free. He doesn't charge us. And again, traveling from Nashville, that's an eight to ten hour drive, yeah. plus paying for a hotel. And they that's just, right. people just yeah. give. Now, now, let, let me ask you something. And, 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 I don't want to sound this, uh, make this sound wrong or anything, but you know, why do you do it? What, I mean, what, what do you get out of volunteering all this time and, and all this talent Going to these, these even again, it's not a church service per se. Right. Uh, they're usually the evening coffee houses. So, what do you get out of it? Well, growing up when we were younger, we had places to go and things to do that was safe, and you could take your family there as well. There's not a lot of places right now that you can do that. You know, you can take grandma, the baby, the, your aunt, your uncle, and say, "Hey, we're going to go to see a, a concert. You know, it's free. Let's go. You know, spend a little Friday night or a Saturday night." Yeah. And too many times the family focus point gets lost. So our goal is to bring that together and introduce Christ into that family as well, but also the fact that we want families to come back united. And you can do this through music. Absolutely. Uh, probably better than many other. The universal language. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, like, when you look at Christmas music, people say, you know, there's so much Christmas music out there. And when we do the Christmas shows, people come up to us and say, I never heard that song done that way. Or we'll do a song like Christmas Hallelujah by Chris Tomlin. And people like had no clue the song was even out there. Uh, we did a, a we do a, a TV show for WBRE. We do a complete half hour show. I actually sing for them for the last four years. This year I'm bringing my band on with me, and we had more requests for a song that nobody ever heard before, and it was called um, "Onto You a Child Is Born," but it's so upbeat, and, and but the words are very short and easy. But it's a catchy tune, and people yeah. love who, that. Who does the restructuring of the music? Do you I do that? Yeah, I rewrite music. I After, like, uh, Do You What I Hear, I actually recopy wrote that song. So, oh, gee. Because you have to. A lot of times, if you're going to do a recording of it, if it's not an open domain, yeah. you know, you have to pay for it. Although but, I would think a lot of Christmas music would be in public I think it's domain. mostly in yeah, public Yeah, a lot domain, of them are. The classics yep. are, yeah, absolutely. And, um, so if you recompose them, you can actually copyright them and make them yours. <laughs> so I, I did that with a couple songs already. And it's kind of interesting because we had an opportunity, like the song I'll do later, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Please Come Home for Christmas, is actually done in a jazz blues instead of a slow, you know, uh, style. Yeah. So we had different chords. It's smart to stuff. copyright them now because they keep on extending the copyright on this deal. Now it's death plus 60. Ah, so yeah. you usually don't outlive the death of the artist or the composer or the writer plus and or yeah, yeah plus 60 yeah. you know yeah and 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 even with that you know the person says they want to use their song it's, it's pennies to use it but it's the thing of you have to get the copyright license you get the authorization yeah and that's all got to be listed on the cd yeah cover. i think a lot of people don't realize this but i know even if if any of you out there are familiar with uh uh well, Facebook or YouTube, but I think especially on YouTube. I remember I, I videotaped uh, a Christmas parade that the township where I live, the, the Lions Club, puts on a Christmas parade. And I, I shot the, the whole parade and went to send it to uh, YouTube so it could be used everywhere. And I, I had problems because one of the groups coming by was singing a Christmas song. <laughs> Yep. And that violated about that, yeah. uh, public would, performance. Yeah, public, yeah. Performance. public even, performance. Even though there was no charge Isn't for that, that performance. Amazing? So uh, these are the kind of things that we don't think of when we're listening to, to music. And yet, you know, music is so uh, so dynamic, so so powerful. And, and you think about some of the Christmas music. You know, Gene Autry was famous for years as a singing cowboy, but everybody else who doesn't remember him as a cowboy remembers him for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Absolutely, right. 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 Uh, 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 Bing Crosby, uh, with all the things he did, he's, I think he's most associated with White with Christmas. White Christmas. Yes. Exactly. So, yep. uh, these I like are, the Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasted Open Fire. Yes, Nat That's, King Cole. Nat King Cole. Written Nat, you know, by uh, right. uh, Mel Torme. Mel Torme. Well, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Think about that. You know, Mel there's a song, like, if you think of him, like, right away, no other Absolutely. Christmas song comes to mind for him except for that one. Yeah, that's true. He's done a lot of them, you know, but. Yeah. Well, and certainly if you go to one of these uh, uh, Christmas with a Twist concerts, you're going to hear some songs that uh, will uh, 
ring a bell with you, even if, even if they're not exactly the way you've always heard right. them perform. Maybe it's time we did give a, an example, and you, you said you're going to do one. Now, will this be one that we uh, we get to here at one of the concerts yes. or all the concerts as but well? When when I do it with at the show, it's going to be done in a four part harmony of male vocals. It, it's all it's well. Um, now we have Rusty and and, that's and, and your wife, and we have Mark, Mark behind the camera, and I could I could be the the audience and listen. <laughs> If you guys want to sing along, please feel free. I would love to have the backup. I, I think we'd like to attract, like be the like to attract the people yep. to the concert. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's not uh, throw a, a negative in there. Well, well, we'll get through this then. Okay. Bells will be ringing This sad new year is gone Baby's gone. I had no friend. I wish the greeting once again. Choirs will be singing silent night. Christmas in Cairo by candlelight. Please come home for Christmas. Please come home for Christmas If not for Christmas By New Year's night Friends and relations Send salutations Sure as a star shine above But this is Christmas Yes, Christmas darling I'm a girl to be with the one you love So won't you tell me You're never more wrong Christmas and New Year's We'll find you home There'll be no sorrow No grief, no pain I'll be happy Christmas once again Good, very, very good. good. Eagles classic. <laughs> now you you reworked that yourself. Yes, so. I put the uh, blues chords into it and took it out of the major chords. And then when the guys sing, we have a, we have a band called the Followers, and it's it's kind of interesting. It, it grew from myself to a duet to a trio to four. Now we have a drummer, we have a keyboard player, and all the guys sing. And we start singing one day, and it was like, wow, the harmonies are just where you came from. Great. <laughs> so we do a lot of that with our music. We do a lot of harmonies. So well, that's, 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 that's great. I really enjoy that. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and how long a, a concert? Well, you, about an hour These or are so? two hour concerts. Oh, two hours. Oh, okay. uh, the reason why it's two hours is because we have the country music that they, uh, Broken Road does, and we do this. And, uh, and then we take a short intermission in the middle to everybody can introduce themselves and get to know people, you know, the artists and what they, why they do what they do. Right. Now, you have had the Christmas with the Twist concerts for Toys for Tots before. Have you done those for the soup kitchens before as well? Nope. This is the first time the church is, like I said, I was going to put it in a back burner uh, with a lot of things happening in our personal family, our son and everything. Um, and then the church is called up, look at, we're doing this for a soup kitchen, would you be willing to help out? So it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> whatever yeah. we're called to do, we'll do. It can't be an experiment, though, to say if you are as successful uh, with donations for that as you have been with the Toys for Tots. And, and Toys for Tots was having some, some problems the last couple of years getting enough uh, yeah. donations. So I'm sure an influx like you uh, provided is a, is a big boost for them. And we're hoping that it, it stays in, like, keeps it stays around for a long time. So okay, now the one that. for Toys for Tots is December seventh. It'll be at Saint Ignatius in Kingston. That's three thirty nine um, North Maple Avenue in a Kingston. A lot of parking, so people like saying, "Oh, there's no parking." And this area has a lot of parking, so we're hoping to fill this facility. Okay, now in that case, here again, Toys for Tots they they want a new unwrapped toy. Yes. Uh, uh, but you would like to add to that some smaller 
stocking stuffer. Yeah, stocking type. stuffers, it'll help so much for the families to have a stocking there. Okay, is your group called the followers? I We're called the followers, Steve Prolo okay. and followers. And then you have Broken Road Duo. Duo. And they are they do country music. Um, Allison sings a lot of the music. Her husband plays the guitar and they, it's called a electronic kick drum. It sounds like he's playing a full drum. Oh. And it's just one little pedal. It's kind of interesting. The way to, the new technology is coming out. But it's uh, instead of bringing a whole full drum set, he's got this little yeah. box he sits, sits on. And play, plus, he's playing guitar while he's playing this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The ones for that will benefit soup kitchens then. Uh, let's see. Saturday, December the 8th. Correct. Right? That's at Parsons Primitive Methodist Church. That's at 193 Austin Avenue in Wilkesbury. Be the the Parsons section of Wilkesbury, right. sort of between Plains Township and and uh, and Wilkesbury City. And, and the there, uh, that, pardon me. The 24th. We on have. the 24th as well. All right. 24th is Bennett Presbyterian Church, 501 Bennett Street in Luzerne. Now. I will repeat that all of those concerts are technically free. Correct. But the one at the Bennett Presbyterian Church on the 24th and the one at the Parsons Primitive Methodist Church on the 8th are being done to try to help some local soup kitchens. So in that case, if you can bring a um, non-perishable food item, you know, canned, anything like that, uh, that would be appreciated. And, and hopefully this, <laughs> this may set a whole new trend you may be booked through November and uh, December next year. I was shocked that we got booked even as early as November 10th. I'm thinking, we're not into Christmas yet, but we are. It's kind of like the whole theme of Christmas is moving up <laughs> more and more every year. Yeah, well, it, it, uh, that's true. And as we saw in the stores. <laughs> Just visit the department <laughs> stores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we're walking through. We said, look yeah, at Christmas the Christmas up before already. Halloween this year. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. Lord. Yeah, Halloween, if, if you tried to buy some Halloween item on Halloween, you were probably out of luck. <laughs> Absolutely. Because most of the displays had changed on already by then. Um, how has the response been to these concerts in terms of families coming out through the years, whether or not they're able to bring something? It's been very well received all, all the way around. It's been grown. When we first started this, we had a handful of people, and then from there on, it just built up. The one year we did it, we had an ice storm that was moving in, and it was like, should we cancel, should we not cancel? We decided to go ahead with the concert. We just got done with the concert and just got done loading the truck, and it started the ice storm. It was kind of like, okay, <laughs> well, let's get the got equipment to that. the home place and got through it. But it, it was very, everybody loves it because it's a different style of what we do. When we did a 21-piece orchestra, uh, that was unique because you had all the different you know, from flutes to violin. You kind of have to have a stage for that. that we did. We had, um, we took, if you ever met Knights of Columbus, they had a big, huge room. We took a, a basically a quarter up of the room with the, uh, with the instruments and everything. And it was kind of cool. We had two drummers. We had uh, full keyboards, you know, two, two different people keep playing keyboard. We had violinists. We had flute players, guitar players. Uh, and then we had singers and everything to go with it. So Yeah. Yeah, do you get the kids out too, or is it we strictly do. adults? We ha we get kids out, and we also get them involved in with live nativities. We'll get like kids doing that. We'll have a church come out and they'll do live nativity for us as well. Um, we're actually doing that this year in Wilkes-Barre. We actually do we're doing a Christmas on Public Square, uh, the old-fashioned Christmas, and that is uh, when is that set up? November thirtieth, from eleven a.m. to seven, and from five o'clock to seven at night on Friday will be the live nativity uh, with animals from Hillside Farms. And then also a horse-drawn wagon you can, oh. for a donation, uh, five dollars, which will go to an organization to help out there. And on Saturday will be the same thing. So we're going to have live. And that's Public Square, Square in Wilkes. That's Public Square in Wilkes Barre. And you also do the uh, arrangements for all the twenty-one pieces as well, all the yes. instrumentation, correct? I Yourself? write mm -hmm. all the music for from everything from flute to violin. So it's kind of interesting. Do we need a theme song for ECTV Live? <laughs> I think for all this free publicity, I think maybe you could throw a 30-second uh, bumper hey, in for us or I'm something. Yeah. I'm glad to write you up with something for us, Steve? I will be glad to write there one. you have it. How about that? Do we have to do well, a live? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out a way. You work, you got it. You work, you work on, on, on it, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a whole long list of exciting things that are coming up between these Christmas with a Twist concerts. Uh, the... Christmas on Public Square, again, the dates for that? November 30th and December 1st. Okay, plus, if you watch, certainly your local newspapers will have, uh, during the year when the various churches 
have the coffee houses, and I know that our uh, our church up in Mountaintop has been involved with that yep. very, very successfully. Eight years. Uh, and normally what we do at our particular facility, we, we actually have a, a meal. Uh, there's no charge. If you want to throw a couple of bucks in to help cover the supplies, you know, fine and dandy. But it's a great, it's a great night out for virtually virtually nothing and uh, you can enjoy yourself and uh, now your church has been getting 45 to 65 people. yeah yeah they've been a really really nice That's turnouts there it is and it and it's in it don't and I, I love all the old Christian hymns and things I, I love them but this is not all that no I mean mm -hmm. we you get a lot of uh, country in there uh, a little bit of rock total non-denominational yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mike Lewis you know he comes in he's not a Christian artist yeah uh, Broken right. Road Dew is not a Christian artist and then we were there I think it was August I think we were there August uh, we decided to do some older hymns if you want to call them hymns but we put a twist on it again we put them <laughs> from to a hymn style to a country rock beat and we had People dancing and clapping. Nothing, it was nothing great. wrong with that. As a fellow no. named fellow named Presley to start out with, yeah. with gospel music and did <laughs> better pretty, pretty, believe pretty it. well for himself. Started out with gospel. Well, Steve, That's right. uh, uh, is there a site? Is there anywhere that people can check with you to get the exact schedule on these sure. things? They can go to www.unitybymusic.org, or they can email me at Stephen at unitybymusic.org. Either way. Very good. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you for we having me. Happy that, uh, holidays, We'll Steve probably have to bring you in in September next year because the concerts will undoubtedly be starting in October. Yes. So that, we'll consider that. <laughs> well, I'll be on Labor Day next year. We'll, 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 we'll consider that a big success. Uh, thanks so much, Rusty. Thanks Thank for you, being Steve. here. Thanks, Thank David. Mark McGlory, thank thanks, you for Mark. all your work behind the scenes. I'm David DeCosmo for ECTV Live. Till I see you again next week, here's hoping all your news is good.